Joseph Frazier, and J O S E P H F R A S E U R. Thank you. And uh, you're doing career day today? Yes. Okay, what are you supposed to be? I'm an architect. Architect. Very cool. And what kind of things did you do today? Um, we went to a couple different stations. We went to, we had this, which is, was um, designing things, and then we had another station, which was um, carpentry, and then we also had snacks and rewards. Did you have a favorite part of the day? Or? Um, I thought the designing was cool on the computer, how you could do all the different things. I thought that was pretty cool, too. <laughs> um, is this different from what you do every day in school? Yeah. yeah. Normally, we stay in the classroom. and. Is it a fun way to learn? Yeah. Or, yeah what to okay. Um, anything else you want to share? Or? They were talking about how um, this, is, this is the epitome of, uh, of uh, you always wonder if you'll use the, the things you're being taught <laughs> in school. Is there anything that you noticed that that applies now to this real world stuff. There was a lot of math involved with all with the two stations that we saw and uh, a lot of geography and things. Maya Vemalavali. Okay. Maya is spelled M A Y A and Vemalapali is spelled V E M U L A P A L L I. It is a long one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and what are some of the things that you've done today? Well, today's career day, so we were we went to all these stations to uh, to learn about different careers. Uh, one of them was about uh, people had jobs about uh, for technology, and they designed stuff, and they showed us how to design some stuff on the computer. One uh, there was one about carpentry. Um, about learning all the angles. It was had a lot of math in it, right. but it was fun. And there was a food and reward station That's for fun. snacks and stuff, so yeah. Did you have a favorite part of today or one that um, really interests you? Or? I liked the technology mm -hmm. station because it was really cool how they would make all the things and they had all, it was just cool. So. Yeah, really cool. And you got to dress up today. How did you decide what you wanted to wear? Uh, well, I thought about all my hobbies and stuff, mm -hmm. and I really liked art, so I did, I was an artist, That's so. That's a good idea. Hmm. Do you want to be an artist? Yes. Um, anything else I should? I, I would say that you are properly attired for, I mean, you've got, like, everything. <laughs> you, did, you did a good job with it. You could, you could also be a fashion designer. <laughs> you know, I think so. You know, yeah, because you got the, you got the, the paint going on on the, on the shirt and you got the paint brushes and then the you know around that's really cool <laughs> you know it can branch off you never know um, so and this is uh, a different way for you guys to learn do you, do you enjoy it yeah it um, uh, normally we would learn everything in the classroom stay there go to specials go to lunch and I think having going to different Places around the school and seeing different jobs is really fun. That's awesome. And you like seeing um, new people come in and share. Yeah, it was really interesting. So. Cool. Well, thank you very much. You did, did a very wait, good job. Did we ask her, I'm sorry, oh. if there was any other career that jumped out at you that you would consider? Or I know you're probably um, still an artist, but you know. I like being an artist, but as you said, maybe fashion designer. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Pam? Pam Mick, P-A-M-M-I-C-K, and I'm a fifth grade teacher here at Burnett Creek. Okay. And um, can you explain a little bit about what you guys are doing today? Uh, today we did a full immersion in careers to let the students um, explore their options. Uh, we had community, community members come in and discuss with us what they did and how it links with what we do in the classroom. For example, math, science, social studies, English, all of those things that we do every day. The students can see a purpose in gaining those skills and understanding those concepts so that when they get ready to select a career, they have a broad-based knowledge already built from their uh, school experiences. And, um, I know you guys maybe do some like, other activities. How did you come up with something like this? 
Um, we have a teacher here at Burnett Creek, uh, Karen Miller, uh, grades four or five. Uh, every year she comes up with these wonderful ideas of uh, getting our school to explore different options. Uh, one year uh, we had a, a water day, a math day, and this year we had the career day. Um, she's very innovative in that and uh, she gets everybody to jump on board and we all collaborate and then we work on selecting topics and what the students may like or be interested in learning about, and then we contact community members to come in to help us uh, have this wonderful day. And have you ever done anything like this before, or is this new? Uh, we've done it for the past three years. Oh, that's mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. And um, how do you think the kids benefit from this? Um, they were very excited about the carpentry station because when they came back, we were in geometry uh, in our unit in math, and so that they were so excited about the measurement, especially perimeter and area, because now they actually see a reason to learn it and they were able to measure and build wood in the um, gym today with the carpenters so they were very excited about that link. That's, that's great. And, um, and, uh, do the kids enjoy this? Is this something that you could see a difference in, in their behavior? Or is it they are very excited about this day because we have had probably two weeks prior to building them up to be thinking about this day and we've had activities in the classroom where they could earn Trump dollars to go to the reward station and then purchase something and also it's really uh, uh, I've seen it in their face especially today when they came back from the carpentry and like I said when we did math it clicked they understood a reason to learn. That's great and um, you guys you do the hiring instead of the firing right? Yes okay. We're, they're all hired today <laughs> fortunately. Uh, what's the final program consist of? What do you guys do? Uh, we have our drawing, uh, a chance to eat lunch with Mr. Pearl. We have uh, students that have purchased lunch with the specials teachers. They get to wear a hat and they get to wear pajamas if they purchase that ticket or a homework pass. Um, and in the gym right now, we have our conclusion program. Uh, they're uh, doing a song on career. It's Party on Career Day. And uh, we're introducing Donald Trump right now as we speak. And he's going to be then wrapping up and doing our closing ceremony. And the students are going to be dancing. Oh, cool. Great. I think we should go check that out. Yeah, I have okay. one last question, though, uh, before we get to the... Um, yeah. it, will there... Talk about, like, next week when you go back to normal classes, will there be kind of an I told you so moment where you get to say, see now, remember when I taught you this, and then they were... <laughs> there will be, because we're going to be having a math quiz on the area of a triangle and the measurement of perimeter, so I hope that they see a purpose, because uh, I told them to be ready next week. Well, so right. there's a reason right there to, to have that link between community and actual learning in the classroom.